Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of fractions and decimals, specifically how we can write fractions and decimals on a number line, and we will do it in five minutes or less. So you see we have a basic number line from 0 to 10, but we are going to be placing some different fractions on this number line, and they are going to be either mixed numbers or improper fractions. So how can we translate those mixed numbers and improper fractions? Where do we put them on this number line when we don't see those actually written in those forms? Well, let's start with 18 thirds. So 18 thirds is an improper fraction. And we call it that simply because the numerator, which is 18 in this case, is larger than the denominator. So that's an improper fraction. For us to be able to put this on the number line, we need to turn it into a mixed number. Now, to turn that into a mixed number, it's a simple step of dividing up, which means you're going to take our denominator, 3, and then we're going to make that our divisor. We're going to divide that into our numerator, which in this case is 18. That becomes our dividend. So how many times can 3 go into 18? It goes in 6 times, and in this case, there's no remainder, so that's the end of what we need to do. So 18 thirds is really 18 divided by 3, and so that just is another way of saying 6. So we're going to put that on the number line. That's an easy one to, to hit right there. But we're going to keep it in its original form, 18 thirds. Now what that means is that is 6 away from 0. Anything on a number line here, we're actually measuring the distance away from 0. So it's 6 because it's 6 away from 0. So let's keep that in mind. Now, 2 and 1 fourths. 2 and 1 fourths is a mixed number. That means it has a whole number next to a fraction. So we're going to take that whole number, and that's going to be our starting point. That whole number means it's between 2 and 3, because it's 2 and something. But then we're going to need to look at that 1 fourth to see, is it in between 2 and 3, like 2 and a half? So there's that little green mark in between 2 and 3. Is it less than 2 and a half or more than 2 and a half? So I'm going to draw my half, cut my half and half to make fourths, and we see there that 1 fourth is less than a half. It's about half of a half. So I'm just going to put it halfway between my 2 and my 2 and a half, and I'm going to call that 2 and 1 fourth. Once again, that means it's 2 and 1 fourth because that's how far away it is from 0. Now 7 fourths is another improper fraction, so we're going to do that same thing we did last time. We are going to divide up. So 4 is our denominator. We're going to divide that into our numerator of 7. That's going to go in one time. But now we have a remainder. So after we divide up, if there is a remainder, we need to know what to do with that remainder, because one remainder 3 is not going to be very helpful. We actually turn it into a mixed number when we remember the remainder goes on top. That means our remainder 3 is our new numerator. The denominator is 4, because the denominator always stays the same. So our 1 is our whole number, 3 is our numerator, 4 is our denominator, so 7 fourths is really 1 and 3 fourths. So that's between 1 and 2, and as we fill in this little fourth down at the bottom, we see that it's actually more than a half. So I'm going to put it a little bit between uh, 1 and 1 half and 2, and that's 1 and 3 fourths. And you see that's how far away it is from 0. Finally, let's look at 3 and 5 sixths. It is going to be between 3 and 4, but that 5 6 is almost a whole, our next whole number 4. So I'm going to put that basically right next to my 4, and we're just going to call that 3 and 5 sixths. Now let's wipe this board. Let's look at four different decimals. We're going to do the same thing. Decimals are a little bit easier to place on a number line. So we're going to look at the whole number first. So 9, so it's between 9 and 10. Then we're going to look at the, the hundredths place. This goes to the hundredths place is 88. So 88 out of 100. That's going to be really close to the next whole number. So we're going to put that close to 10. So 9.88 or 9 and 88 hundredths goes close to 10. The next is 4.2 or 4 and 2 tenths. And so it's going to be between 4 and 5, but that 2 tenths is not even halfway through. Halfway is 4.5. So I'm going to put that just a little bit past 4. 8.51 is almost right in the middle. 8.5 is exactly in the middle, so let's just go ahead and put that right in the middle. 8.51 is just a hair past. And then finally, 1.7 is almost all the way up to 2.